I hope you can all hear me. Um, so this is the Advocacy and Social Media Group for the 2016-2017 Champions for Change. And uh, on as your presenters, it's us. Um, and welcome. It's on the speaking right now is Cecilia, and we also have Emad. Uh, I am based in Ukraine, but I'm from Bolivia. Emad, are you there? Uh, hi everyone. This is Ahmed. I'm based in Cairo, and very soon I'll be also in New York. Yay! Okay. So the agenda for today is um, what is this group all about? Becoming an active uh, active on empowerwomen.org, storytelling, visual infographics and branding, suggested hashtags, special social media activities, and engagement and scoring, and then a short Q&A. Um, so before we start, uh, we would like to ask you to please um, send your questions while we are on the webinar because we will have, um, like I said, a 15-minute uh, period for questions. So just send them as they come up. Um, all right. So what is this group all about? In addition to um, all your engagement, um, you all will be doing digital advocacy and organizing on social media. I've heard this question, uh, well, I've heard this question a lot on our e-discussion group, so I wanted to make sure that you all knew that in addition to all the activity that you're going to be doing, you're also doing digital advocacy and organizing on social media. So if you're wondering how do you do this, um, you will mainly, um, can, can we switch to the next, please? Um, if you're, you're wondering how we're going to do this, you will reshare and repost content, um, either by retweeting, and you can see that we have highlighted there on Twitter, it's in the left, or by sharing or resharing on Facebook. Um, this is Empower Women content, and also you can do the same with your e-discussions. And it's not just about clicking the button, it's also about owning it. And when we say that, it means that you should add your own thoughts and also add a hashtag. We will talk about hashtags moving forward. So we want you to be really loud. We want you to write a comment, challenge your friends, start e-discussions, and ask others to join you. Um, remember that content leads to good conversations, and good conversations build relationships, and relationships can work together to drive change. And that's what we want. We want to drive change. And uh, it, it is important that if you're going to start an e-discussion, you just don't start it, but you also have to make sure that a lot of people also participate in it, and that's when social media comes along. So about becoming active on Empower Women, you can do it through four main ways. Um, tell us your experience, story, or, or work, and why am I mentioning three categories? It's because Sometimes you have just an experience to tell that it can be shorter, sometimes you have a longer story, or sometimes you're working on a project or your institution or you have done implementation in the field. All these three types of stories, they go under our story category on our website. You can engage in any discussion, and this is what I was mentioning before. Not, not make sure that you just don't start one, but you also post comments. Because what is important to us is not how many discussions you start, but the quality of the content that you produce. So quality is better than quantity. Also suggest an event or opportunity and submit a resource. This can be a publication or it can be a video. I know that many of you have said um, and have mentioned in the our e-discussion that many of the stories that you have submitted have not been yet published. I want to mention to you all that this does not mean that your stories and that your contributions are not being accounted for. They are, but due to the championship, our editorial team is having a huge workload, so we're having delays on that. 
but don't worry at all because on the back end we can see exactly how many you're contributing and you can see exactly your activity. You're also getting your badges, so don't worry about that. Also, many of you have asked how are you going to tell stories? So there's the storytelling part. Um, one slide back, please. Um, and so um, we're going to very briefly go about uh, this, and Emmanuel is also going to tell some of um, his perspective. But essentially, digital storytelling is about the way you feel, the way we think, and the way we act, and the way we, we behave, all together to compel people to change. Um, we have a few um, graphics that will help you, or visuals, how we call them, on the next slide, that will help you to understand this a little better which is what we want you to really keep in mind. Which is it's not about tools, it's about skills, it's not about um, transferring knowledge, but it's about amplification of our voices, it's about creating meaning, about sharing and connecting with the community, transforming stories, and contributing and collaborating. Um, Emma, do you want to pitch in here as well? Um, sure. Um, so storytelling is like one of the core um, strategies that you use to make our content a little bit more friendly to everyone. Um, and we use it in, in different ways. Um, this, uh, it's not just like a story that starts with once upon a time, but it's, you know, how we can use a story is also a different way. So we use storytelling for the iLearn application, for example, to tell the stories of women who are um, having some challenges or discovered new ways of doing business. Um, so we could look to stories to kind of get best of practices um, about their experiences, how they started their business, how they extended their business, how they managed to market their product, how did they find a way to actually start or expand um, or find new ways of marketing their product and then in that way, we connect the case study to the best practices of business. Uh, while in, in other kind of stories, we use it in a way to um, give a voice to those who are marginalized and we couldn't have a voice regard, like if it wasn't for you to deliver that story. Um, so it could be about the leadership of women or and men promoting gender equality. It could be about the challenges, you know, women facing in the workplace or and starting the a business or trying to find employment. Um, it's, it's so many different ways. And we use the story in different formats. So that story could be in an article, could be in a blog, could be in an article that is published on Wikipedia or in our website, could be in the form of an infograph, could be in the form of a photo story, in the form of a video story or a combination of all of them. So we're going to talk more about this ahead. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, so let's go to the next slide where we're um, talking a little bit about um, how to do uh, a story, a storytelling a little more visual, which is precisely what Iman was talking about, showing um, emotion, make it memorable, and we really want you, like he precisely mentioned, is to show the challenge. It's all about showing the impact of what that story has, um, what that story compels. Um, it's, it's not just about writing a story, and so I think these two graphics are really um, going to help you to that, but you definitely should look up more on storytelling on your own time, and you'll see that it's not that complicated and that you definitely can do it. So don't feel daunted about that. Now, about visual and infographics and branding, which is our next slide, just like Iman was mentioning, infographics are a very, very big part of storytelling um, because our brains crave infographics pretty much because they're visually wired. And on the next slide, we can see that the, the reason is because they're more engaging and because, you know, they increase our willingness to read. And so this study says that 
50% uh, of our brain is involved in visual processing, 70% of our sensory receptors are in your eyes, and we can get a sense of the visual scene in less than one of tenth of a second. So that's the reason why we really like to use infographics and visuals, and I know that a lot of you um, asked during our e-discussion, what do we refer by visuals and infographics? So uh, it's pretty much this making the, the information much more easier and accessible and processable and uh, making it very appealing for people to understand what we're talking about as well. So it is not about just um, your, or, uh, whenever you, you produce an infographic or you produce, um, you use a photo, it is important to give credit to the source or the author. Um, so if you're going to use this, uh, when you submit the stories, like Emad was mentioning, um, and especially in the campaigns that we're going to talk about moving forward, it is important that you always um, give credit to the source. Uh, so if you're going to upload a photo, and let's say Emad is a great photographer in our team, so whenever he uh, takes a photo, we always make sure that his name is on it, so we know, people know that it was him who took the picture. And the same goes for this picture that we have here. Um, with infographics, usually it's different because when it's produced by an organization, it usually has already the logo of the organization and as well as the source, as this one that it's here. Um, so just make sure that if the infographic has a source, you don't have really to cite it, but if it doesn't, make sure that the person who has created it gets credit for it. And during this overall work, um, we really, really want you to use and engage um, with Empower Women completely. So use our colors. Um, we have the warm red, the purple, the dark color gray, the light blue gray, and the very light blue gray, and the white. Um, and those are the, the ones, those numbers are for the web. And if you need more information, we'll share more materials with you, but m make sure you, you own them. As well for all the content that you will be producing for um, Twitter and social media, I mean for Facebook, social media, and even the stories um, that you will be uploading, you can always, if it's an infographic, you can always make on the bottom in support of Empower Women. We will make sure that you can um, have access to this logo as well. We really want you to um, be able to excel that. And Many of you on our in discussion have also asked about our suggested hashtags. And yes, we do. We have two, and in case you don't have a space, we have another two. Um, the first one is Empower Women Rally, um, which is the one that we really encourage you all to use, and then EW Ch uh, Champions for Change, which is Empower Women Champions for Change. And if you don't have enough space, as I mentioned, you can always use Empower Women, which is our hashtag. We always use it for everything. Uh, women's Economic Empowerment, which is W-E-E. In case you really, really don't have space. <laughs> um, in terms of, now it comes the fun part of being in the social media, in the advocacy and social media group, which is our special activities. And that's when we tell you all, let's break the glass and tell her story. And here we have two wonderful campaigns um, where you can engage. The first one, it's break the glass. And um, break the glass, it's because we today we think that more than ever, we need to break the glass ceiling for women and girls around the world. And it's a visual storytelling campaign, and that was the reason why we were mentioning all this um, storytelling and visuals and um, creating stories and all the ways you can make stories and how you can um, frame them and all this. Because it's intended to showcase the way women across a myriad of industries, communities, and societies have overcome the obstacles leading to their economic empowerment. And it highlights what women have done themselves, what women and men have done together, and what men have done to support women to become economically empowered. We have produced a video um, for this campaign that we really encourage you to see it. Um, 
And then on our next slide, you will be able to see as well how can you engage in this campaign. And this is going to be, um, obviously we cannot sense show you the video right now, but if you are able, once the webinar is over, to check out these links that are available in the presentation and they explore a little more on Empower Women, you'll know exactly what to do um, and how to engage in the campaign. And it's this, like I said, this is a visual storytelling and so it's all about making a video of yourself um, and creating change with that video and encouraging your friend, challenging your friends to do the same. And we also have another wonderful campaign, and this one is uh, being laid by Imad. So I'm pretty sure that he wants to tell you a lot more about it. Thank you, Cecilia. So while uh, Break the Glass is the story of every woman trying to break the glass of the challenges that they face in uh, their daily life, um, her story is more about the women who manage to break the glass and go beyond what's normal to be an extraordinary woman, um, either in her society or um, locally or uh, globally. So her story is basically about the awesome women, the great ones that who um, have contrib con contributed to the development of their local society or the global um, development of science, arts, leadership, politics, society, economy, and all different kinds of fields. So this is the story that we try to tell in a way to uh, provide um, a, a model for girls and women to see that you know there are women who contributed to the history and they should be out there and mentioned. Uh, we were inspired by some statistics about you know Wikipedia, for example. Uh, Wikipedia editors are mostly 85% uh, of them are males. Uh, while 15% are females, which means that you know the dominant males on Wikipedia are writing the history even about women, which affected the kind of content that is written about women in Wikipedia because it's written from a masculine um, point of view. Uh, so we're trying to do that kind of balance. Um, so we have the collaboration with Wikipedia to first increase the number of female editors and second, increase the content about uh, women on Wikipedia. And that's one example of how we do it. But what we want from you during the rally, um, we want something, um, the other part of the campaign, which is you write on a freestyle a story about a woman who inspired you um, or have, you know, either she's alive or she's dead. It could be like an inventor, it could be a queen, it could be a president, it could be someone um, who uh, discovered something or invented a new thing um, to write her story in one in the style of a blog, which is a one-page story about that character, uh, supported by um, a photo if it could be uh, provided without copyrights. Um, or links to where we could read more about her. And I'm sure we can now send you the guidelines for how to write a blog um, with the presentation, um, this presentation and the recording. Cecilia, back to you. <laughs> Thank you, Aman. Yeah, so these are our two main campaigns in which we want you to really, really get engaged. So now, if you can see here at the screen, um, when we talk about engagement and scoring, it's mainly about we are going to um, score you mainly on your contributions on Empower Women, and this means what we were talking about earlier, all the stories, um, you starting discussions, commenting, telling your friends, reposting and posting, and as well as the campaigns. Um, the uh, Break the Glass campaign will be launched on Monday, and but the video is already up and you can see it on the link, and also the guidelines. And this campaign is in um, English, Spanish, and Arabic. So you can do your video in all these three languages. And if your language is not there, well, it doesn't matter. Just shoot a video as well in any other languages. Um, because we really want to make this campaign to go across borders. Um, so that's one thing. and. Her story, it's another campaign where you will be really, really pushed hard to submit your stories. But like we've said earlier, 
don't be worried if your stories are not appearing um, on time as, uh, as it would be said on Empower Women or in a timely matter because that's not really, um, since we send them, we have an editorial team and they go uh, to our editorial team and then they come back, be prepared to receive feedback and uh, but don't worry about them not showing up. You, they are being accounted for and trust us. We, we, we can see um, all your contributions and your activity. Um, so just go for it and try it out. Don't be daunted and just do your best because we want you to succeed. And again, one more time, we want to tell you that it's not about quantity but about quality. So just you do your best to produce your best work. Um, last but not least, um, we really want you to continue your engagement in our group e discussion. Um, so if you have any questions and you need any additional materials, we will be posting everything there as well. You also will be able to access this webinar um, after, after it's done, but please allow 48 hours um, so we can send it to you <laughs> um, because with the championship there's a lot going on as well. And we also want to make sure that we receive all the questions before we send it out so we can answer all, to all of them as well. Um, I think that's all and now we can open to a round of questions and, uh, and answers um, to both Emma and I. Thank you, Cecilia and Yamad. Hi, everyone. I will jump in to help a little bit with the questions so that our leads will, uh, will um, also relax a little bit and concentrate on the answer rather than the questions. Um, my name is Diana. I'm working also with Empower Women. Um, I am the lead for Skills Development Group. I can see a lot of questions uh, on more general championship um, topic and skills development including and some of the question if you don't mind I will also jump in and help uh, Ceci and Imad. I think it's a good plan so let's just start. I, uh, I registered with two groups, skills and social media. I assume skills development and social media and advocacy group. But I wish to stay in one group. What do I do in this case? Um, Nasra, in this case, please feel free to send an email um, to empowerment.org with a confirmation and we will delete your name from another group. And I actually um, uh, recorded this um, uh, point from your site and will make uh, clear to to kind of delete your name from the specific group you don't like. So please uh, send a confirmation on Empower Woman email. Uh, question from um, from somebody that has left the group, but probably um, uh, she or he will watch the recording further. How can uh, you use a social media for digital advocacy to conduct a brief Empower Woman strategic review? This one. That's, that's a very good question. Should I answer right now? Or yeah, yeah, we, please. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, please, please. Okay. Um, so the, the question is how to use social media to conduct Empower Women strategic review, right? Yes. I guess probably more, more specifically Empower Women in general, probably, uh, the, the user meant. Okay, so um, I'm not sure what the user um, meant, but um, I think at this point of the challenge and what we really want you to all understand is not to worry much about um, how to promote empower women. We really want you to produce content um, in terms of you producing something that will uh, show your commitment towards women's economic empowerment. And that's why we're given the hashtag uh, Empower Women Rally and EW Champions for Change, which is Empower Women Champions for Change. And we really want you to, to go uh, one step further and beyond uh, in terms of your commitment to women's economic empowerment. And that's why we have these campaigns. I know that you all are very eager to just start already producing and posting on empowerment and uh, at this stage of the championship we really want you to work on the campaigns and on the knowing the platform and engaging with us and really know what empowerment is about because it has so many things 
to really benefit you all. Thank you, Ceci. Um, there are a lot of questions on something that you already, you and Emad already presented, and I will, I'm sorry, I will not read all of them due to restrictive time. I will try to pick those uh, to, that maybe was not clarified or maybe repeat themselves a little bit. So please, dear prospective champions, don't feel that we didn't see your question. We did, but we felt that we already respond uh, via presentation. I know a lot of you joined the webinar a little bit down the line. So um, when the recording will be available, a lot of uh, the questions also will be clarified. Uh, what is the duration of a rally? Um, we will announce the um, champions, 2016-2017 champions, on the 10th of December. So um, basically all the contributions until the 9th of December will be taken into account. Um, Oslem, oh, sorry. Oslem? Can I add something to that, Diana? Yeah, yeah. I think it's also important to what Diana said, and just because this question was brought up, um, we really want you to take our deadline seriously. Um, and this is because, you know, the, the championship is also um, very, very important. And uh, I know that at, at some point, a, a lot of people people had troubles and they were not able to register and all this and we've made a one-time exception but we really need you to push this hard because we won't be able to have more exceptions so just respect the deadlines and make sure that you you can um, you check your spam all your inboxes and if something has not gotten to you just reach out to us through the e-discussion and we will uh, make our best to help you accordingly Yes, this is the same message I send to my group and I think uh, Meral will send on Monday to her group. We really love you guys and we are excited to collaborate with all of you, but we both need to respect the deadlines from our side and from your side. So thank you for making this point, Ceci. Uh, Oslim has two, three questions. Um, maybe I can pose all of them and Emad and Cecilia will choose how to respond. I had registered for two groups previously. One was business development and the other was social media. I plan to go on with social media. Do I have to sign out from the other one? I think we tackled this one, but maybe if you have another uh, specifics. <laughs> yes. uh, second, also I have started an initiative called the Butterfly Effect on, of Im Women Economic Empowerment. And he gives the social uh, media link on Facebook. Um, but you provide it on my empowerment profile. I plan to do the same with Twitter after posting on the butterfly effect. Oh my gosh, I need to repost everything with my personal Facebook? Or would you be tell, telling uh, everyone about the butterfly effect? Uh, it, the campaign belongs to me and there is no need to reposting. This is another question. And the third one, all of you answered my question about my accidental signing in the Facebook and creating a second seemingly inactive profile. Um, I'm still extremely worried. How will you verify uh, that this is the account I'm using and how can we delete the inactive one? Okay, so I, I can answer um, with them at the first two questions. And um, the third question, I think Diana can answer as well. And so about you choosing um, two groups, uh, that's okay if you have chosen two groups. Um, th that's perfectly fine and it's normal, I think, when you don't know where to be at at the beginning. Um, once you've decided which is the group that most benefits your needs, uh, you can choose the one and like Diana said, you can just uh, send an email to the coordinator or to Empower Women dot um, empower dot women at unwomen dot org, and uh, they will forward this information to the respective coordinator, and we're already marking it down. Um, about um, the butterfly effect, at this point of the championship, what we're making again, I want to make sure that you all know that um, we really want you to. Um, engage in our campaigns, in our content, um, 
in producing the stories. I think Ahmad can um, go ahead as well and tell you why we really want you to do this. Uh, so basically, it's we have a really short time, and if you try to do so many things, you probably will not be able to. Um, we we are seeing this from experience that we have gone through those like uh, three rounds of championship before. Um, we know that you know you're awesome, you're extraordinary, but you also have other commitment in your life, um, and it will for us to be easier to count those as well the activities and to be um, able to give some of the attention. We will need to also be focused on um, on the activities that Cecilia have um, outlined. Um, after the rally, then there will be more opportunities for you to propose like bigger campaigns or your own campaign or you can discuss with um, a team of the champions to do something together. But for now, let's stick to the task that we um, that we have and stick to the deadline. And there is the championship tenure, oh sorry, there is the championship tenure, you will also be able to work on projects and that's why this rally is so important because you know you really have to run to engage into with empowerment, with the campaigns that we have, with the uh, materials, the, the resources, the stories and all these, um, uh, all this, all resources and uh, facilities that our website gives you so you can really, you know, um, outstand yourself. Um, and we really can really stand out. <laughs> I just wanted to add a, add a small thing to, to um, the explanation that Cecilia and Emad gave to all of you. For example, her story campaign was uh, initially also uh, fought uh, with some group of champions. If you will go to the history campaign page, you will also see how the idea came and how when it was developed and how we reached from, you know, um, to collaborate with uh, Wikipedia. So it's a working process. Your ideas matter and they can be developed, but not in the rally, uh, rally period here. Uh, we do not engage one-on-one too much. The engagement with the champions will be during the championship itself. So, um, by exploring the empowerment at work, you'll have an opportunity to see how your work will evolve in time. Irene is asking, are we going to provide with a record of this webinar? Yes, please give us 48 hours. <laughs> and uh, and uh, um, Cecilia and Emad will be happy to share with you the follow-up email and uh, all the details included. Another question is, so when sharing my story, can I link it to my other social media sites or it has to specifically be on a social media page? So your stories have all to be submitted on Empower Women um, at this stage of the championship. Um, if you produce a story and it's on another another platform or you produced it on social media, that is okay, but make sure that you also have submitted it to Empower Women because really, as we when we were mentioned the scoring, we really uh, we're only able to measure your your activity through your contributions on Empower Women. And the same thing goes for social media. Uh, Matt was mentioning um, just a while ago that because we have so many of you right now, uh, and you know, this is great and we're so happy, we're so thrilled, really. Um, we, in terms of social media, that's why we have created hashtags and specific activities so we can really see your work and your development throughout this period. Um, thank you, Cecilia. Um, another question is where I think I think we need to specify there are a lot of questions coming where we can upload the stories um, uh, in terms of a social media and and in terms of infographics and uh, so if I may hear uh, one simple um, addition um, that if you sign in on empowerment.org, right, on the, you, you, you just type empowerment.org, go to your right top, sign in using your credential, then you know you are signed in. 
everything is good. Then now when you are signing, you can make any contribution from the discussion to resource upload to the story sharing. When you go, you see different comportments, yes, who we are, community, and so on. If you go to community, and then you go to stories, you click on the stories, and then on the top right, you see share the stories. Complete that page using and filling all the segments and then upload. When you complete these steps, it means that your stories was uploaded, were uploaded on empowerment.org. And the, um, the analysis and the reporting that Elia, Cecilia and Imad were speaking about, it is possible only when you completed these steps. Um, so, uh, upload, when, once you complete the stories, you will receive a message from us. Thank you for uploading your stories. We will be working on it shortly. When you see this message, it means that your story was uploaded. That's correct. And also, I wanted to mention, um, please engage into our e-discussion. Um, the, the links for each e-discussion, for the group's e-discussions, are currently right now on Facebook and on Twitter. Uh, we're posting everything regarding the championship in both our Facebook and our Twitter. So please follow us. and. Uh, when you go there, look for my comments, uh, for Cecilia's comments, and I have explained and provided the specific links to how to submit a story, how to submit a discussion, and I've also explained that if you start a discussion, make sure that these discussions, um, because discussions, once you submit them on empowerment, they automatically get populated, you can start promoting them on your own social media networks. So you can ask your friends, hey, look, I, am, I started this discussion about uh, why women's economic empowerment is so important in 2016, what do you think? You should also comment or li like my discussion and you should sign up to empower women and also comment on my on my discussion. This is, you know, when we were mentioning at the beginning, when we were saying social media organizer, this is when you are an organizer because you're telling people, hey, I am participating of this uh, empower women champions for change and I am uh, creating this discussion, so and I'm submitting stories. So all this activity, it's really up to you. So just go, go way and beyond um, that you can, and uh, you'll you'll do good. You'll do great. We know we are, all of you will do great. Another question is from Farai, and she asks, "Where on Empower Women website we uh, do submit infographics, and what medium we use um, for to make basically the videos?" Okay, so to make the videos, uh, we have suggested to use uh, Adobe Spark, and this is free. You can just uh, use your email account to uh, make. Uh, make an account and we will, according to how many people have interest in the e-discussion, I have noticed that people have already started exploring and there was not quite a need, but it, those who are interested in having, we will definitely schedule a date in the following days, upcoming days. We have right now uh, 10 to 15 days until the uh, rally ends and we will schedule for a webinar where I can um, show you a little bit of guidance how to um, work with Adobe Spark. And we will really encourage you to also use it in case you want to, well, for our Break the Glass campaign, um, but you can also do it with your cell phone and just record a selfie, which is also what we're encouraging people to do. And one more thing about videos. Um, that I forgot to mention, I might mention it throughout the presentation, that you can also tell stories through the videos, and we really encourage that as well. Um, so if you want to do that, just one thing I would mention, that at this stage of the championship, don't sabotage yourself. If you're not quite well versed yet with it, um, that's okay. You don't have to start with it right now. But if you want to try it out and you know that you can do something, you know, in the following days, then go for it and do it. And you can interview someone in your community, um, like to tell her story because, you know, it's someone inspiring, or you can 
tell this um, a woman that has broken the glass ceiling. So, and you can do that through a video. Go for it. Emma, the question for you has to be a queen. My mom is not a queen, but she has a strong woman story. And another question is, good day, it is uh, permissible to share educative articles on women economic empowerment that are educative and not necessary stories of people. Will they count our evaluation? I, I, I said for Emma, since they are mostly connected with historic campaign. Um, well, your mom might not be like a real queen, but she is a real queen. She got you and she's, I'm, I'm, I'm sure she's so proud of you. Um, um, you can write in different ways. The hair story is mostly about, you know, um, uh, famous women who we are proud of their contribution or inventions or um, the way that they have done to change the path of history. Um, if you want to write more about, you know, your personal stories for the people who are around you, maybe then breaking the glass would be like a possible way uh, to do it. Or writing just a regular blog for Empower Women would be um, another way. Um, so for the second question about an educative kind of content, we do encourage that and we do really need more of this. Um, I encourage you to check the iLearn application, which is our mobile application that is part of the free basics in partnership with Facebook. And it mainly has different kind of content. It has the story type of content, but it also have some content related to courses, educational materials that could teach something or like a basic skill or um, specific information about uh, economic empowerment. Um, so this educative, um, educational article or materials that you have definitely can fit in, um, in the iLearn application or in the iLearn section of Empower Women. You can also add it as a resource and mark it as a category for um, iLearn or capacity building. Um, I think they definitely can fit, and we do need uh, more uh, more of that content. Thank you. So Emma. please go ahead. Thank you. Um, one more question: How do you keep track on what we have done on our personal social media platform, and how can we share our publication on the Empowerment at Work platform, except probably the ones that you referred? Uh, do we need to submit story on both of these campaigns? Ca um, and when does the historic campaign start? Um, also, I'm trying to kind of um, give uh, a little bit more questions so you guys respond in a bundle. Do we need to give a consent from two people who want to share their stories? Very important question, I guess. I is it possible that you post a weekly update on our performance so we know how we are standing? And I'm going to write a story about me and another one about a public fi figure. Is this okay? Yes, now you guys, <laughs> please tackle uh, all of them. <laughs> okay, so I might be taking a few and I take another, so just feel free to jump in if I'm forgetting something too um, while I'm answering one or the other. Um, about tracking your own social media accounts, uh, we are not doing that. We're not tracking personally, uh, person by person. That's why we're, we're tracking um, you mentioning us. Um, that's why the hashtags. Um, we're tracking uh, you uh, posting, again, your contributions and empowered women, and then making sure, when it's the case of e-discussions, that you bring more people on board, that there's quality of comments, and that there is not just, oh, I created an e-discussion, it has zero comments. Um, that doesn't really count. <laughs> Um, that's about social media. Uh, then, Emma, you help me. <laughs> um, so I want to like say also another thing about that we are not tracking your social media accounts. So feel free to do whatever you do with your personal account. Uh, we're not going to monitor that. We don't have the right to do this. 
and we will never do this. Um, what we will track is when you mention um, the hashtags. Um, so we're going to use any of the technological tools to just consolidate who mentioned us in the content of either their post or sharing. So this will come out. Um, so uh, yes, that's something that we don't you to feel comfortable with. Your personal life is your own. We don't have control over it. We'll never judge you for whatever you do. Um, but then we also encourage you to um, contribute more on Empower Women website, um, especially after you log in, because this is going to automatically record all the activities you, you do. So on your profile, you will see a consolidation of your activities. Um, and we can easily uh, like run reports and see who is like, contributing most. Thank you. Um, about running reports, uh, we are not able uh, at this time to post and uh, showcase uh, who are uh, the people <laughs> ahead so you guys can uh, do better or something like that because um, at this stage um, the championship is still real big and so we're just really monitoring through the back end. Uh, your contribution. So as long as you're contributing to Empower Women and you're, you know, you know that you're really doing a good job at that, uh, that um, you should be fine. Um, then the other thing it was about contributing to uh, break the glass and to her story. You're not expected to contribute to both of them at the same time. If you like one, uh, you feel more um, one speaks to you more than the other. That is perfectly fine. Um, but if you want to contribute to both of them, that is good as well. The idea for both campaigns is for you to engage um, also be, via social media and through create stories to showcase, to engage with Empower Women. Um, so you can pick one or you can do both. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ceci and Ahmad. Um, I can see I'm reading all the questions and I'm trying to kind of not to repeat the ones that already have been addressed. I can see that a lot that a lot of questions are based on the responses that already said. For example, uh, we mentioned the video and Ceci mentioned that, you know, uh, there will be a video as a part of a break the glass and now we have whatever duration, the tools and so on. Uh, Cecilia already mentioned mentioned that she will try to organize a webinar uh, on the video itself only. So all of these additional questions and, um, and then all of you uh, a bit uh, um, misconfused about them. You know, I learn blog and stories and so on. Please do not be afraid about this. Um, if you don't feel uh, that you are clear what type of story it is, don't even bother. Just share the story you think it's relevant. It, it goes hand in hand with the explanation and the goal of your group work. So earlier in the presentation, you had the, the, the scores and, and how it will be. Just focus on that. And if you don't understand yet type of knowledge products that Empower Women has, this is okay. We are together to learn and, and, and to help and to collaborate uh, and to understand the spectrum. So if, um, if, if something is kind of not clear now when we are um, trying to answer your questions, it's because we know a lot about Empower Women <laughs> and you are not yet so informed, but promise you will do better. You will know as much as we do now. Um, and this will be the last two questions uh, because we are running out of time. Uh, hi there, and thank you for your information session. I just want to make sure I understand, but all of our contribution are posted on our profiles on the Empower Woman website and the retweet, yes or no. And maybe another one. Um, I haven't joined any group because I don't know how to join. 
please help. The her story to whom should I send it? Should I be the Empower Woman page or email? Hello, I had understood that during the rally we were not allowed to use the Empower Woman logo or the colors, so I am glad to know that we can use them now. Will the logo be available in the e-discussion? Can we use it widely? Is there any specific rules? How many posts are we expected to have? Can we post on Instagram? Uh, do Empower Woman use the Instagram account? Just several more. Okay, so all contributions, again, like Diana had mentioned, all contributions will go to Empower Women. And I just want to make this clear. Um, I know that many of you, like Diana has mentioned, are very confused of which kind of stories. And this is why if you go back on this presentation, once you ha have finished the webinar and review this, this presentation again, you will be able to see that in, in our section of digital storytelling, yeah, all stories go in one same category. The only way we 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 uh, select them in different categories on our side, but you don't have to worry about that. If you want, just some people are know that they want to write a blog, and so that's why we're bringing it up as well. But you just have to focus on writing a story. It can be one to two paragraphs. It can be six paragraphs. <laughs> you just you know write something. Um, about whoever is inspiring or about the campaigns. Um, about the, so all contributions go to Empower Women. About the rules for colors and the, the logo. Um, the logo cannot be used on anything uh, or everything, uh, to better say it. The logo in support of can be used for both campaigns, stories, and infographics that you will want to Produce. If you are creating an infographic, let's say that I create, I am from Bolivia, so let's say I create an infographic about the current situation of women's economic empowerment in Bolivia, and then I use the colors of Empower Women, and I put in support of Empower Women, because this infographic has been done for this Empower Women rally, and that's why we're using the colors. This does not mean that now we can start using um, the, the logo in support of for everything, only for the campaigns and infographics and visuals. Um, and uh, if you're going to do a story that has um, something like this or a video, you can also use the logo in support of. Um, then the other question was um, Instagram. Uh, at this time, we're not currently using Instagram. We will start reusing it again. Um, uh, most likely, um, yeah, next week if possible. Um, you and also about break the glass. Um, you were asking what are the guidelines? All the guidelines are on empowerwomen.org. If you go to the search bar and write break the glass, you will be able to find the guidelines for both uh, for Spanish, Arabic, English. Also, what the campaign is about and. Again, once again, I mentioned, if you go back into this webinar later on when we're done, you will be able to see a link about Break the Glass campaign, and if you type that link on your browser, you will be able to see the video and all the guidelines about this campaign. So just make sure that you do your research on your own time, that you spend a little bit of time on Empower Women to explore. And if you don't still don't have things clear, please come back to us, to our respective e-discussions, in this case, to the advocacy and social media e-discussion. Thank you so much. Um, These were the last questions, and um, I just will leave uh, Ceci and Emad for some final thoughts um, for this webinar. Oh, is this the final thoughts? <laughs> or you were going to give another question, so sorry. Uh, no, please, guys, if you can uh, share your final thoughts for the webinar. OK, uh, Emad, do you want to go first? Uh, sure. Um, so I think we will send you more information. We'll send you the guideline for how to contribute to the different campaigns. Um, follow the a discussion for more information for communicating with us. Um, we are really excited um, 
and we apologize in advance in case of we are a little bit slow in corresponding to you. We have almost like 5,000 of you, and we're a small team, uh, so give us a little bit of time. Um, we know that there is a lot of energy and a lot of excitement, a lot of creativity coming from you guys, and we're counting on you and taking the initiative and being persistent on um, pushing for your ideas, but just make sure that that you communicate with us in a clear and creative way uh, because this is you know the first thing that you probably will learn through this you know you are kind of in a competition in an equal competition but um, due to um, limited time and resources you know you have to do your research you have to do your homework first before coming back to us and make sure that your work is as complete as possible to make our life easier. And uh, this is not the end. Um, this is just the beginning. Your, your contribution and, and your engagement with us um, doesn't have to have a name for it. You always are welcome to uh, be part of the Empower Women community. And we will always be around if, if there's something that we can help with. And uh, hopefully is that you all stay um, around as part of our community and part of our empowerment family. We are so looking forward to your creative ideas and um, very awesome products that we're looking forward to. And we wish you all the luck and uh, best wishes in your personal life and your professional one as well. That was great, Amen. Um, I agree with Amad 100%. And uh, the only thing I would, uh, again, reiterate or repeat is that please join us on the e-discussion and take advantage of that space to really ask questions to us. Um, and then, uh, I mean, talk to peers, but really take that space to talk to us and ask us these questions that, that are not sometimes clear. Um, but like Amad said, explore, uh, do your research, uh, engage and empower women. It's it's a thing of trial and error. If it doesn't work the first time and you were not you put, clicked post and it did not work, then you know try again and then come back to us and tell us, hey, I tried but it didn't work. So what's going on? And we'll definitely orient you and help you. So you can do this and we're so happy there are so many of you and uh, again I think Emad said everything that would need to say. Good luck to you all. <laughs>